everyone, Grim Fury here, and it's Tuesday, time for a new video. And this week, it is time for my Universal Yums at UniversalYums.com. And, as you'll be able to see, these yums traveled all the way from the land of many Harrys. Let's see if I can't get a little picture. I'll get you to see the picture. So, a land of many Harrys. I wonder where that could possibly be. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and open this one up. See what kind of wonderful goodies that we have. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Wonderful yums ahead. So, let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty. And if you didn't actually read the whole title of this video, and you didn't watch my last one, then I'll tell you that the Land of Many Harrys is the United Kingdom. Whoops. Hold it in the middle so it doesn't bend. But there's the wonderful little map that comes in every box. And looks like they're sticking to their new scoreboard deal. They've got um, three potential rejects, and they wanted to know if you would try them or not. And then a vote for an upcoming box. And then you've got to vote for your favorite yum, your worst yum, and the weirdest. That's what that looks like. Okay. And as always, they send a little booklet that's got, you know, trivia and games and recipes and um, a little description of each and every snack in the box. So that way you can, well, look at it. And somehow I don't think I'll have to look at the book this time because everything should be in English. Now watch, they'll sneak one in there just to make a liar out of me. But I'll set it right here anyways. All right, so let's see what we've got from the UK and I have been looking forward to this box. This was one of the ones that I was hoping I was going to get when I first subscribed, but found out that I missed the UK by, I think, like around three months or so. So I'm really surprised that they, they're, they're doing it again. I'm not sure why, but I don't really care. I'm getting, you know, a box of UK snacks. That's what I was wanting, so I'm happy. <laughs> so, anyways, first one. Good size bag, too. By, I'm guessing it's Ginny's. Oh, this is going to be gross, I bet. It says potato hoops, tasty, crunchy snacks, but then it says chili and lemon flavor. And that that doesn't sound good. It, it, yeah. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, that, that doesn't sound good. I've had chili and lime, which is pretty, pretty bad on its own, so... I don't know. Whoa, this is not tearing like it's supposed to be. I really can't smell anything. So, what do you say we take a couple hoops? Come on. Like those! Haven't been able to uh, have a snack where I can wear them on my fingers in forever. So let's try this out see what they're like. Well, there is a very light uh, flavor to it. The chili is almost, almost undetectable. The lemon hits a little tiny little waves. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of heat right here in the corners of my mouth or my jaws, whatever. Back here! 
a little bit of a uh, heat from the from the chili. Like I said, the lemon hits a little bit here and there, but as long as this doesn't get any get hotter, it won't be bad because I don't do hot stuff, and this is just a little heat, so it could be good. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> All right, next thing we have. Mackey's of Scotland Honey and Mustard Potato Crisps Gently Cooked to Perfection well, Okay Didn't smell anything It opened it right away mm, Still can't smell anything I think my sniffers broke there's the chips. Kind of, well, I mean, I was going to say plain looking, but you can see there's got some kind of seasoning on it. I meant they're not, they don't have ridges or hoops or anything like that. So, well, anyways, let's see what these hopefully good uh, little snacks taste like. Hmm. This is kind of a honey mustard like flavor to it. It doesn't taste like a honey mustard that I'm uh, um, used to. I get a real strong potato flavor too from the from the chips, and it's kind of um, overrunning the um, the honey mustard. So it's okay, but it's definitely not going to be one of my favorites. It almost tastes like the chips were burnt. It's got a, like, I'm getting like a burnt potato uh, flavor. Kind of like if you've ever gotten a french fry and part of it's burnt and you eat it anyways. Kind of like that. But, anyways, we got a whole bunch of snacks still to go, so <laughs> let's go. All right, next we have by Golden Cross. Sorry, nose itches. Twirls, potato snacks, prawn cocktail flavor. Uh. Yeah, they have some really unusual flavor snacks in uh, the UK. So, Prawn. Yeah. I can smell something, but it's very mild, so I'm not sure. Grab a couple. Come on. I just want a couple. I'm not trying to grab the whole bag. There we go. There we go. Twist. Twisties. Twist ties. Something. Well, let's see what prawn cocktail flavor tastes like. Well, it tastes, tastes like cocktail sauce. Um, I didn't... Well, I don't know. I might have gotten a little bit of a prawn flavor, but I'm not sure it just kind of went like that, so... I don't know. But still, that was, that was actually pretty good. So, I like that one. Oh, hey, hey. Next one. Another one by Golden Cross. Um, only 25 pay. Sorry, if you hear that beeping, it was a uh, keychain I bought. It was supposed to be one of those ones where you whistle and it goes off, but apparently if I say only 25 pay a little loud, it went off. But, well. Pickled onion. Flavored corn snacks. Johnny's pickled onion rings. Crying out with flavor. He looks like he should be French. He's got a bray and he's got an accordion, but, you know. I don't know. Pickled onions. Sounds weird. Yeah, I like pickles. I like onions, but I... Well, 
though I guess I have had pickled onions, because sometimes if you get um, certain uh, pickled things, they'll have onions in them as part of the, uh, I don't know, flavor, I guess? So I've had homemade uh, pickles, and they've had, like, you know, onions in them, so. Well, so these look like they're too small for me to show my fingers in, otherwise I would have done that. Well, I guess I could have dug through them and found some that would fit, but... Nah, this video is going to be long enough as it is. Well, here we go. Wait, i got to smell it. I can smell a little bit of a... Uh, kind of dill, but pretty mild. Well, let's see. Oh, those are just like... practically disintegrated. Ooh, that's strong. Very strong pickle flavor. So, yeah... I can't say it tastes like onions at all, but there's definitely the uh, pickle, you know, the dill uh, flavor to it. These actually would be pretty good. So I would have to eat j just a little bit at a time. Too much, and it would be just be, well, too much. <laughs> all right. Next item. Come here. It's like, I don't want to be eaten. I don't care. Um, what does that say? Gluten-free something. Oh, improved flavor. Kent crisps, oyster and vinegar. Yum. Traditional hand cooked British crisps. All right. The bag's nice. I had, I had oysters. I had, I think it was an, I guess it was an oyster. One time, oyster on the half shell. Never again. It was like swallowing a loogie. It's disgusting. But I tried it just so I could say I did. So, oh, got to smell. Well, here's the chips. Got to smell. Another one. It is. I just, most of them, I can't smell anything. But here's the. Here's the crisps. All right. Let's give these a try. See how they are. Well, you can definitely taste the vinegar. And a... Um, Kind of a sweet flavor to it. A little bit of a fishy type flavor to it. That's the best way I can describe it. So I guess that's the oyster flavor. It's actually pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. Let's clean the pot again because I've been getting a lot of, well, vinegar. <laughs> that's a little strong. All right. Next we have Welsh potato crisps. Oh, Taylor's. It was folded over. Um, lamb and mint flavor. Made from potatoes born and raised in Wales. Well, let's try to get the glare off the bag. There we go. Lamb and mint. Hello. I don't want to say it sounds good because it kind of doesn't. Oh, I can smell the mint. The mint, the mint smells terrific. I mean, I, I love spearmint and peppermint both. All right, that smells really good. All right, let's see. Oh, what's they look different. See that? They don't. I don't know. It's almost like they don't look like they're made out of potato. They look like they're made out of something I don't know more dense. Because those are really dense looking uh, potato chips. I know we've got to look. It's covered up by a by a label for some really weird reason. Oh, well, it says potato crisps, so they're made out of potatoes, but they just, 
they look really dense. Kind of like me. <laughs> well, here we go. It's kind of bland. There's a, I mean, I get little hits of flavor. It's, it's kind of bland. It's got a real, it's got a, a weird flavor to it. I don't know what it is. Mm, not a fan of that one. So, all right, next one. Oh, another one by, uh, another one of Kent Crisps. Ashmore cheese and onion. Well. Let's see what this one's like. I smell cheese. <laughs> I hear gurgling in the background. My upstairs neighbors are doing something. All right, get a couple of small ones. That's what they look like. Well, here we go. Very nice cheese flavor. It's not overly strong. It's fairly mild, but not mild enough, you know, I can oh, you know, just barely taste it. It's actually pretty good. All right. Next we have, what is this? Grandma Wilds 1899. Odie. It's all it says is Odie. It's a cookie. Or wait. This will be a biscuit, won't it? It ain't got any kind of smell to it. I know. I don't know why I took the whole cookie out of the package. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm just going to break a piece off. Well, a little bit bigger than I wanted, but... I'm hoping it should taste good. We'll find out here in a second. Pretty good. Tastes like an oatmeal cookie. So that was actually really good. All right. Next. Ooh, this is heavy. Whatever it is. Brazil nut toffee. Oh my! Let's say England's finest. Uh, established 1894. Walkers. Something. I can't read that. Anyways, it's, it's just good ingredients. Whack, then unwrap and enjoy. Why, are they stuck together or something? Oh, boy. Let's try whacking it on this thing that I got my stuff set on. I don't know if that, that doesn't feel like it didn't. Oh, let's see. I know that was loud. Sorry. Oh, wait. I think I, got, I think I got it separated in one spot. We're going to find out. We're going to open it up. I can't smell anything. It looks interesting, though. Yeah, I just didn't show you, did I? <laughs> Whoops! That's what it looks like. Hi. If I think, are you gonna let's see it? No. <sighs> That's what it looks like. It's really kind of interesting. No kind of toffee I've ever seen. Oh, well, those itches. Let's see.
this is not. All right. It's sitting in a plastic tray. It's going to be a second. Ooh. Jeez. I think it's stretchy. Well, we're just going to have to do it just like this. So there's going to be some editing. <laughs> Here we go. It's really good. It's really sweet. Oh my God, is it stiff. <laughs> there we go. That took quite a while to work through that. Whew. My jaw's tired now. All right. What's next? Made with real... What does that say? Clotted cream. That sounds frightening. Bristow's, established 1879 of Davon or Devon. Fudge, clotted cream. What is clotted cream and why does it sound so terrifying? I don't know what clotted cream is. Uh-oh, that just opened right at the spine. You're not supposed to do that. Shame on you. Oh, that bag just said, no, oh, you won't be opening that way. Then let's just self-destruct. Good heavens. Pretty much what it did. All right. I didn't hold that one up either, did I? Sorry. Gotta be careful because I cut the top off. Okay. Out. Bag is just giving me fits. All right. Fudge. Now, see, this looks and feels like a caramel, one of ours. You know, you can just, well, that looks like this. Excuse me. So let's try it. See what it's like. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to be that soft. So it was, you know, super soft like a, like fudge. Tastes really good. I like that. <laughs> All right. Next we have Grandma Wilds again, 1899. Fruit and lemon. Lemon is a fruit, though. Isn't it? It better be. So why didn't they just say fruit? Right, like if you got a bunch of different dried fruits together, and lemon has to be one of them because I can smell lemon. So yeah, just a bunch of like little dried fruits together. That's kind of what it smells like. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but to me, yeah, that's what the cookie looks like. So we're gonna break a piece off and give it a try. And ooh, that's bigger than I wanted, but what are you gonna do? Here we go. Well, 
It tastes kind of like a shortbread cookie. All right, I got a little bit of lemon now. Um, the You get the fruit from the fruit pieces. I know that sounds like duh, but I mean, um, the cookie itself, it just tasted like, kind of like a shortbread cookie. You didn't actually get any any fruit flavors until you actually bit into the pieces. So they didn't get, you know, the flavors incorporated into the whole cookie. Make a cake now. All right. What do we have here? Okay. Another thing of Grandma Wilds, but this isn't a cookie. It says toffee flapjack with a delicious toffee flavored topping. That doesn't look like it. A flapjack, to me, is a pancake. This doesn't look like one. And it's thick, too. See? Look at that. It looks good. It basically, to me, it just kind of looks like a really, really thick piece of fudge. Or a really big piece of fudge, I'll put it that way, because I've seen fudge this thick before. Not very often. Package is being a pain. Oh, it smells good. It smells like that, uh, that v kind of a vanilla, like vanilla fudge. All right. Let's see if I can get a small piece off of there. A small piece. Thank you. Nice and nice and soft. Right. Let's try this one. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. On the back said oat bar. That makes so much sense now. Because I was tasting... Well, I wasn't sure. For a second there, I thought I was afraid. thought it was coconut. But no, it's oats. So... I don't know. It's a... Really... Complex... Snack. I could taste the toffee. Then I taste oats. And, um, then it tastes, you know, almost like, almost like a honey, uh, flavor to it. It's, you know, it's good. It's, it's rich. It's good, but it's, it's, it's different. That's for sure. Yeah, swig. Swig. Getting down to the bottom of the box, folks. All right, what do we got here? Bristow's Chewy Bonbons Strawberry Milkshake. Could be good. I like strawberry milkshake. are just tearing really weird. I like a little bit of a strawberry smell. Hmm. Not real strong. But this is what they look like. There. Kind of a white or cream color on one side and red on the other. Just like a strawberry milkshake. I'm just sort of. Well, let's see what this one's like. Mmm. Oh wow, it is really stiff. I wasn't expecting that. I know it's a chewy, but this is like really stiff chewy. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. <laughs> Double bubble bubble gum. When you first put it in your mouth, the thing is like chewing on a rock. Mm -hmm. Let's 
so this is going to take a moment to get through. Well, that was a workout. <laughs> Whew. All right. Next item. What does that say? Oh, melt in your mouth, baked by hand. Dean's Original Family Recipes, Light and Crumbly Shortbread Rounds. That sounds good. All right. Got two more items and then the yum bag. Well, okay, fine. So we're almost done, folks. Oh, there's only two cookies in here. Well, let's see. Well, <laughs> it's not much of one, but I broke, decided to go ahead and just break it up already. Here we go. Well, it is everything they said. It's light, it's crumbly, it's shortbread. So, it's quite nice. Sometimes the simplest things are the best. All right, next we have, oh gosh, what does that say? Something, something, England's finest, Walker's Yummy Banana Toffee. Whack, then unwrap and enjoy. What is with the physical violence towards your snacks, people? There's that. <sighs> oh, it worked. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm sitting here with a big board across my lap. Right. Got a little piece. And really smelling some a couple of them. Can't really smell anything. No, wait, I can smell banana. How weird. Because usually it seems like whenever I get something that's got, you know, banana in it, I usually can't smell it. Well, let's see if I can taste it. Yeah. I can't taste toffee. All I taste is banana. And I have to say, it tastes like real banana. It doesn't taste artificial. A little chewy. I mean, it tastes exactly like I just peeled a banana and took a bite. That's impressive. Because there's, there's almost no artificial uh, banana flavored anything that I like. That was amazing how close it was to real banana. I guess it could have real banana in it, but who knows. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, that is way too small. There's no way I can read that. All right. Last item before the yum box. Your, your yum bag. Bristos. Oh, chewy bonbons. Rhubarb and custard. Well, I have never actually had custard before, but I love rhubarb. I used to make rhubarb pies years ago. We are just going to go ahead and cut this open because I know what happened the last time. All right. 
give it a sniff. Nothing. <laughs> Can't smell anything. All right. Well, this one is yellow on one side and dark red on the other. <sighs> so, we'll try this and then <laughs> we'll be back. Well, Sorry, my jaw keeps popping. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I like that. I guess it tastes like custard. I don't know. I've never had custard. But it does, it does um, taste somewhat like, uh, like rhubarb. So, we'll be back. Well, that was that was actually really good. It was different, but that's, you know, just because I've never actually had custard before. So, yeah, quite good. All right, the um bag is next, and would you look at that? It's clear, so you can actually see What's in there? Well, so how many different things do we have? Looks like four? Four different ones? I will have to actually go to the booklet. I didn't think about the, the yum bag, but some of the things don't have any writing on them. So let's go for one that has writing on it. This says Treacle Toffee by Walkers. I don't know what Treacle is. No idea. Don't know. I've heard I've heard Treacle. I just don't know what it is. Ooh, this is dark. I smell something, but I just, I don't know what what it is. That's what it looks like. It's really dark for a uh, for a toffee. Well, let's try it out, shall we? Here we go. It's pretty stiff. trying to describe what I'm tasting. But I'm not sure what it is, what it is I'm tasting. Well. I'd say regular, like, vanilla toffee. Maybe a little bit of a, of, of a caramel. Um, a sweetened coffee, but not too sweetened. You know, cream and sugar, but not, you know, not too much cream, just enough to just lighten it just a little bit. Kind of all those flavors together is what I'm getting. It's still real chewy, so I'm going to have to take a little break. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I looked in the book, and treacle is black molasses. That explains a lot. Um, um, you know, that takes care of probably a good portion of the flavors that I was detecting. The whole coffee thing that I was trying to describe, that's molasses. All right. It's leaving a film on my teeth, makes my teeth squeak. All right, let's see what do we got. Is it one of these? 
Oh, no. One of these, right? Pure confectionery. Well, duh. That's got to be. Yep, that's on there. Bristow's Chocolate Limes. Lime hard candies with chocolate filling. That's weird. Ah, but this is a hard candy, so there's going to be some editing. Let's see. I'll try to bite into this so I can get flavors, you know, the chocolate flavors to it and see. But well, let's see. This is what it looks like before I bite into it. Here we go. Oh, here's the chocolate. Most definitely a lime candy, no doubt about that. Can taste the chocolate a little bit, but not that much. All right. <laughs> Actually, it was pretty good, all things considered. Well, we have two more candies left, and then we're done. All right. So we've got, looks like one hard candy and one not quite as hard candy. So we'll go for the not quite as hard candy. This is Bristow's Bucks Fizz Chews. Fizzy Orange and Champagne Chews. Okay. Could be interesting. This would be a good color for like a creamsicle chew. You know, orange creamsicle. Oh, let's see what we got. Let's give it a smell. Can't really smell anything. Maybe just a hint of orange. Huh? Well, here we go. softer than I was expecting. It was a little hard at first. Quite soft in the center. The orange flavor kind of sneaks up on you. It's pretty, pretty stout. I can't really taste the champagne much. Maybe just a tiny bit. The orange is just really strong. And it's a kind of a much more of a uh, sunny delight like uh, flavor instead of just like plain orange like plain, like orange juice. bad. Not one of my favorites. It's okay. All right, let's get to the last, the very last item, sorry. All right. Bristow's Sherbert Lemons Fizzy Lemon Hard Candies. Ta-da! Okay. Let's see. Does it smell like lemon? Doesn't smell like anything. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Maybe it's, it'll taste like lemon. Last item, folks. Nothing yet. It's a it's a sweet. Slightly, a slight lemon flavor, but it's a sweet flavor too. So, but we're going to chomp down on this and see if the flavor changes at all. So, we'll be back in just a little bit. All right. Well, I got hit with a real strong uh, 
sweet lemon uh, flavor while chewing it up. And, I mean, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Um, again, not one of my favorites, but it was okay. And, well, everyone, that's going to be it for this week. And, of course, that was from Universal Yums at universalyums.com. So, um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and go to their website. Check them out. They've got three different sizes of boxes. This is the largest one. So, get on average, 20 items in this box. With shipping, I pay like 39 bucks. So, you know, this was a pretty good box. It had a few, you know, a couple of duds in it. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I finally got to try um, all these different snacks from the UK. And, like always, they... Well, they did. <laughs> this was going to make, make me look like an idiot. I was going to say they always put a... Uh, little clue in the back of the booklet to where the next month's uh, box is going to be. But maybe that's why they put that thing where you can vote on which one you want. Um, let's look real quick, see if there is a clue. Because um, there's no clue on the back of the booklet. So it kind of threw me off. Well, no kind is about it. Um, nope. There is no clue. Shows the uh, um, some of the items that you can find in the yum shop on the back. Oh, wait, it says, do you want to know where we're going next? And he says, yeah. Well, see, it says yes or no right there on the very bottom. And yes says... Follow us on Instagram or Facebook or both. Um, in a week or two, we'll post a tricky clue about next month's country. Then, on the first of next month, we'll officially announce where we're going and you can see if you were right. Just a little bit off or a world away. Well, that's no fun. And when it puts, do you want to know where we're going if you selected no... Then they're like, fine, we won't tell you. But we will tell you uh, one more thing about the UK. Did you know that the legend um, of the Loch Ness Monster goes back all the way uh, to the year 565? Spooky. I wasn't expecting that little piece of trivia, but what are you going to do? There it is. But, there you go, I guess, well, when they, when they reveal where next month's going to be, I'll make sure to mention it in the first uh, video I make after they reveal it. But, well, that's going to be it for this week then, folks. Um, don't forget, please like, share, and subscribe, and click the little notification bell. And join me next week for a new video. Um, it might be my Z Box. I think it has shipped. Um, we'll just have to wait till next week to find out. So, thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had a really good time. I hope uh, you enjoyed the the box and all the little goodies inside. And well, that was the UK, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Universal Yums, for another really good box. And I hope you'll join me next week, folks, for a new video. Won't know what it is until the time comes. So take care, everyone. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye.